It's October the 1st, uh, 2012. This week has been really, really bad. I've had, uh, I've been cutting out a lot of people on YouTube, cutting them down. They've been cutting me down over the littlest things. Um, but Jesus told me that was going to happen. He's told me that, uh, that I was going to be coming under attack, people trying to cut me down. And he told me to re return the fire, you know, to cut them down. Um, as right here is a, an electric fly zapper. It says, I touch her, the few that works. And this one does because of the screen design. It, it, it kills them little tiny, uh, what, micro flies. And I want to know why they cannot make one the size of a window screen that stays on 24-7 to continuously kill them little flies. It vex me all day and night. And you know what else they can't make? Well, in Oklahoma, there's kind of a problem of... Uh, of ch little children being left in a hot car. And, um, so a few years ago, they'd be, they'd left in the hot car and die. And so, what I decided, I'd call, uh, Channel 2 News, the television station, um, And, uh, troubleshooters, I think that's what they're called. And told them, uh, hey, we need to come up with some inventions to, to save these children. Okay, they pretty, and they pretty much ignored me. And so, of course, my idea, uh, invention was pretty complicated, you know. It would, uh, sense the temperature in the car and roll down the windows and all that. Then a few weeks later, Channel 2 came out with this woman said, uh, came up with a tag, you put it on your, the baby chair in the car. And it, it was supposed to be a reminder for that. So later on, I came up with another idea, and that's just, you know, like an eight foot elastic strap that trap, that wraps around the driver's waist and the, and the driver can't, uh, leave the car without noticing that strap attached to him. And that that would be a cheap, simple way, just a, an attack, a strap attached to you. And you try to leave the car, you'll notice that just you got you've been strapped on you. And you could make it where it's, you know, where it, it'll go, sound alarm or something if it's not plugged in. You know, when you get into the car and turn on the key or something like that. But it wouldn't be a failure problem, mechanical failure or anything like that, because it's, it doesn't have any mechanical parts. It just, it's just a strap that goes around you. But anyway, I, somebody on Facebook was talking about this problem, you know, just recently. I pretty much forgot about it because I got... Involved with, uh, with Illuminati and all that kind of stuff and pretty much forgot about that and, but anyway, it came up on Facebook and uh, someone had an idea of, uh, putting, uh, where you could sense the weight in the back seat of a, a car and all that, you know, it would, um, no alarm would go off if there was weight in the car and you tried to leave. But anyway, most of the people that seen that, they just pretty much ignore it. They say what they need to do is just uh, send the parents to jail or if they die, you know, have the parents executed and all that. And that's the way people are nowadays. They want to... 
Even if you have a great idea to solve a problem, they're not interested in it. They're interested in a way to condemn someone. This right here's a pond. I've never seen it go dry. But it's down about, looks to be about three feet or so. I keep telling them, maybe if you did help fix my roof, then uh, God would be generous enough to send them some rain. They want rain, but I keep telling them, hey, if you don't want to help fix my roof, why should God do anything for you? And that's just the way people are nowadays. But you know what? These people that deny 9-11 was an inside job, well, I'm being attacked by talking, going on here, talking about the government shouldn't do this stuff, this, these bad things to people for breaking the law, uh, especially road violations, where, you know, you should be able to access the road in any vehicle you want. Okay, so they come back and start cussing me out, calling me names, and all this stuff, and and I condemn anything that uh, aren't where you scare a little kid to death, you know, with the law and all that. Somebody was uh, saying, uh, I bet that kid's a now productive, productive member of society's got, and all that after they scared him and scared the little kid and. Made him think they were going to do all kinds of bad things to him. And, of course, I came in here and told him to take their Southern Baptist uh, shit to hell with them. And, of course, things escalated from there. And I, I come back and I cuss them out. Just like I said, Jesus told me I want the hammer dropped on them. That's about what he tell, told me a few weeks ago. To just lay it into them, just go into them, and you know what these some of these people are that do that. That, like I said, they're not interested in something that save somebody's life, but they're interested in something that'll condemn somebody. You know, they're real legalistic, and I believe these are in fact the children of Satan, the devil. These are the children of Satan, the devil. It's in Matthew chapter thirteen. Verse 38, St. John chapter 8, verse 44, other chapters. But see, the thing about it is, you might find that your own relatives and your own friends are these children of Satan. You know, you try to tell them 9-11 was an inside job, you show them the chemtrails, and they, they even ignore that. I don't remember... Kim Trails, when I was a little kid, I probably would, I don't know if I paid any attention to them, but I didn't really notice them. But I've, I've seen them here, you know, like last spring or so. In the middle of summer, I've seen them Kim Trails, so I know that they do exist. I don't know what they are, but I do know they do leave them long trails. I don't really remember. I wish I could go back on a memory and what that is but if they you know they deny stuff like that man you know why because they have no truth in them to respond to truth God's gave them over to a reprobate mind they've mocked God too many times giving God speed to the false government I've seen at least two prophets you know, they'd give God speed and say, God set up this government, or I believe God ordained this government of the Illuminati system. And God didn't do that. God's not, God doesn't do evil like that. And like Romans chapter 13, it says they're ministers of God. It doesn't say heathen tyrants. But they'll try to make you believe these are heathen tyrants. They'll just, because somebody says they are an authority, doesn't mean they're ordained of God to be one. And you'll find that in uh, 1 Corinthians 12, 28, that God set in the church first apostles, secondary prophets, and that's the church God set up. Of course, they're going to argue with that and say, well, that's just in the church. 
And the Bible also says those that say they believe in God but deny the power of them to turn away from, which that power also means authority. If somebody denies the authority, tries to say someone else's authority is greater, and you're to turn away from them. You know, and I think that's what it means in um, Revelation where it talks about the lukewarm. I'd rather you be hot or cold, but because they are lukewarm, I will spew you out of your mouth. That luke, spew you out of my mouth, mouth might mean I'm going to cast you away. Because they claim that they believed in God, but they, uh, yet they claim something else was more righteous and of a higher authority than Yahweh God. And Jesus said, think not that I came to bring peace, but I came with a sword. And uh, what he was talking about is cutting you away from your family. If they don't, if they believe in this, believe in someone else is more righteous than God, you're to separate from them. Do whatever you can to separate them from them. You know, we need to get the church started. You know, a church where they believe September 11, 2001 was his inside job, and we can go from there. And that's something we need to really do, is get this this church started, because there's not to be learned. Like I said, I believe there's those who are the children of Satan. They're out to destroy us. That, that's the thing about it is, is that, you know... They always wanted to, uh, the Illuminati wants to kill us, most of us, you know, so it would be easier to control. But to me, it uh, didn't really make any sense because cause dead people do not make good slaves, you know. And the way they do it is by trying to mostly kill your soul one at a time to make separate you out and make you feel like you're the loser, that you're a, that you're worthless and all that, that's really the way that children, Satan system works is try to condemn you to death, you know, to just vex you a little bit at a time, you know, until you got health problems, suffering from stress and all that. And, and they've been doing this since you was a little child, man. This thing's been going on a long, long time. So like I said... You may consider, you know, if they can't believe what you're saying when you got proof, they're just probably not of God. And we need to separate them. We need to get this church started. And that's all I have to say for right now. Uh, and as always, uh, where it says show more on... Uh, on YouTube, uh, click that on. They ought to open that up where you can just go ahead and read it, but they don't, so you always want to click on all my videos. Click on where it says show more.